Welcome back to another video, guys. If you're new here, my name is Chelsea, and... It's natural peanut butter. I'm Nick, by the way. This is Nick. And today we're gonna talk about a little bit of our journey, how I used to be on the pill for quite some time, and why I'm not anymore, and I just wanted to kind of share our experience and let you guys maybe make your own judgment or maybe change some things for yourself in your life. It's not just about birth control. But we, we're in a new place now, and I can't wait to show you guys around, but we're gonna sit right in front of our Christmas tree. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's gonna be a juicy video. Make sure that you stay tuned, subscribe, and uh, tell all your friends, tell your family, tell your cousins, aunts, and uncles about this video. About because birth control? You're gonna tell your cousins, aunts, Probably don't tell them about that, but let's get into the video. Since we have stopped the pill, I'm like no longer on birth control. Well, we're using other methods, but I wanted to share why we specifically chose not to be on the pill anymore because there have been a few people that DM. I don't know if you've gotten any DMs like this, but no, I don't. I don't get DMs I, about. <laughs> well, a lot of girls approached me in my DM saying, "I don't know if you've ever like thought of like changing the way that you think about birth control, like." the pill isn't your only option and of course I kind of knew that but I always thought I had to manipulate my hormones to like truly have effective birth control and that's just not the case there's a lot more natural methods and we've been using this method for a while and it's been good for us and uh, I just feel better uh, simply because yeah. I felt very moody whenever I was on the pill I just found that when Chelsea was on the pill <laughs> She was very up and down and very unpredictable. And she actually went to, so, <clears throat> I mean, we're not complete dummies. Uh, she went to the doctor. She said, hey, I'm feeling this way. And so they made some adjustments to uh, her regimen. And uh, like, it wasn't as bad, but I mean, it was still kind of the same thing. It, it was sort of, it had the feel that, hey, this is just what comes with it. This is just something that you gotta, that you have to deal with. Like smart adults, I told her, hey, you know, maybe you should go back and see if there's anything that they can do to uh, help you or make adjustments or maybe put you on a different one yeah. uh, to help with this moodiness that you're having. And so she, uh, she went back to the gynecologist and said, hey, this is how I'm feeling. I've been kind of moodier than normal lately and uh, the gynecologist said like sorry there's nothing like like yes there's other ones and um, you know milligram dosages and all that but I mean it's really just something that kind of comes with it and so you just have to you have to take the good with the bad and uh, and unfortunately this is just going to be one of those things where mm -hmm. you know you're dealing with this but you get the benefit of, of predictability. I just don't think that's like the only way that we can prevent pregnancy because that's like the number one reason mm -hmm. we take birth control but there's also other reasons that other people take birth control for acne or for like heavy periods when they have like mm -hmm. way too long of periods and for me I, I like had some cramps before I was on birth control like some pretty heavy cramps uh, but whenever I went on it it like changed it a lot but ever since I've been off it I don't have those cramps as much anymore but I think us also realizing like holistically like how we can approach our, approach our lives with like food and even using like essential oils in our life I know that sounds maybe weird to some of you um, then we see things very differently we get deeper sleep we uh, like definitely very like zombies, deeper sleep zombies at uh, night, man. we were just talking about last Stuff night how legit. like we don't wake up during the night like we used to that's just like some of the reasons that we decided to switch the thing that we're using to like make sure that we like don't get pregnant little thermometer you've probably heard about them through different YouTube videos maybe that you've searched before or someone else has mentioned it to you. There's a birth control method called family planning and it's kind of similar to that. You know like the week when you're gonna ovulate based off of your period and off your temperature that you take first thing in the morning. And we're just like careful, extra careful mm -hmm. than we normally are. We're always careful yeah. um, around the ovulation week. So 
we're still protected. It's just, there's nothing manipulating my hormones. Yeah, and it's not saying that, hey, you're wrong for doing this. You need to stop right now doing yeah. this. It's just a personal choice that we chose to make for overall health and wellness. And I will say, like looking at statistics, there's not a huge link uh, with modern contraceptive methods to any uh, major disease. Um, there, there are, there are small links, but there's no like major, like if you take this, this will happen. And I'm co completely comfortable admitting that. Uh, it's just something that we want to do uh, because we just don't want like hormone imbalances and uh, endocrine disruption and all that stuff. So there are medical studies, things we could list, but I think the number one thing that I wanted to get across specifically to women is that you can do your own research and like see is this birth control method mm -hmm. best for me um like if all I am... that information is out there yeah I mean, like... and, and look at reputable sources that's that's also not like don't go to you know the huffington post and see what they say about <laughs> like like do your due diligence see what universities say all that yeah stuff. there are medical journal sites where you can look up studies that have been done really hope that people look into like the hard facts rather than like filtered media. So those are all the things that we want to touch on. There are other videos out there that will probably cover several different topics. We have other reasons why, but these are the main ones we wanted to get across and yeah. we didn't want to freak anyone out. We just simply wanted to get the message across that mm -hmm. you can make your own decisions. You don't have to get on a hormonal birth control if you don't think that that is the best method for you. Yeah, there's other acne methods, there's other, I wouldn't know, but I mean, yeah, I've been told that there's other methods for like cramps and all that sort of thing. So yeah, yeah it doesn't have to be weird, it doesn't have to be like strange. Uh, we're just sharing our journey and our experience and, and that's what it is up to this point. So. We would love to do another video if you guys have any ideas for like, like more natural living uh, type videos mm -hmm. or like holistic health, what we've been realizing. I just don't want it to be a video that like nobody watches because nobody cares. I want like a certain type of video to be like, oh, that's it. Let's mm -hmm. do a video on that and then yeah. implement what we already do. So That'd be cool. we have a whole like move in vlog that will be up soon. Um, we just got to make sure that it gets all finished and everything. Mm -hmm. We're still hanging some stuff up and whatnot. But until then, we just wanted to get on here, chat about this because it's been on our hearts. Yep for a while so so I don't want you guys to think that I'm like a mute or anything but on this video in particular I just wanted to more or less hear what Chelsea had to say from a woman's perspective because this is more of a woman's topic and as always leave us a comment let us know what you thought whether good bad anything in the middle um, leave a rating or not a rating that's a <laughs> podcast term yeah thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it don't thumbs down because that's the worst thing that you could ever possibly do for this video we love you guys though and we will see you on our podcast yes and here see you guys